take a look here at a couple of plays. We're going to take a look through this drive here in the last, you know, 13, 14 minutes or so. And uh, I'm going to let you guys, or I'm going to break this down for you guys and let you guys see with your own eyes how shit can get real bad once there's a familiarity between the defender and who in the o lineman he's going against. So let's just start off here. I don't even know what down it is. I swear to you guys, I just picked an offensive possession and we're just going to look at it. All right. So they are in a, let's see here. They're in a two by two. You got two receivers up top. You got tight end receiver down bottom. In, or this is a, this is a tight end as well, or a running back maybe, but I think it's a tight end. Uh, it looks a little bit bigger than a running back. So yeah. let's go from here. Let's see what they're doing. <clears throat> All right. Okay, pocket is with pocket was okay there. It looked like man man coverage, uh, but I think at this point, because this is in the first half, I think. Well, you can see there. Let's let's run it back a little bit. Uh, here's Parsons. This is, he's he's the nightmare giver. <laughs> they got two guys on him. They're running a three-man stunt. This linebacker should be coming around, or he's either man in here, or he's going to add on his blitz. He stays down. So you've got this three-man stunt coming to the inside, or rushing to the inside here. This guard here, you want to stay square. You don't want to turn like this when this is happening, because look, this guy is, if he is, if he's got a little bit better uh, stunt here, you know, coming from, from, from the outside to the inside, he's able to penetrate behind this guard because his back's turned. Yep. You get here, to hip, it's over. He, yeah. So what happens uh, as you look at the left tackle here? Let's look, let's look at how this affects the left tackle with this guard turning his body like that. He can't pass this off, y'all. Y'all are on different levels because there is a certain there's a certain way you can handle this where you rock back each guy and you pick up the guy who's trying to split the line. You pick him, the guard right here would, you know, bounce back to try and help stiffen, you know, help to bl blood bludgeon this yep. guy right here, keep him from getting into the into the backfield because this is what affects the quarterback here. He takes his eyes off his he takes his eyes off his receivers because of that trend that that cross stunt that ends up, you know, it ends up opening opening up a gap for him. Yes, but this is not what he wants to do. He feels like he can't trust this inside move because now it leaves him open uh, while he's got his eyes down the field yeah, on his and, on his backside. And he's actually okay, but like you said, after seeing it so many times, I, I just don't trust it anymore. I'm sure I'll take off it, and he starts what, running. what I can get with my legs. And, and, and that's a dangerous thing for a quarterback. He's exactly, it's long. dangerous for a quarterback. Very dangerous. So here we are. Uh, he can move oh, a little shit. bit. Lyle Collins. All righty. Oh, God. Oh. Ooh, yeah, oh, buddy. Oh, you three see it? Or two? That was, I mean, he had to get that out. Mm. Mm -hmm. He had to get that out quick. All right. So why are we talking about this? This guy just got paid a lot of fucking money to come here and play right tackle for the Bengals. To and he used to play for these guys. <laughs> And this, and he was their right tackle. So there's familiarity right here. There's familiarity, intimate yeah. familiarity. These guys probably practice each other a lot. Uh, they've taken thousands of reps against each other. So he should know what to expect here, and he should know what to expect here. So you should know that this guy is a supreme athlete. You want him to take the long way. Now, what do you do? You got a wide base. You're reaching with your hand. You're not punching or striking because if you are striking with this right arm and following it almost immediately with this left one, you stuff him. Ooh, that was fast. You see how quick he did that? Oof. Oh my God. Oof. You see how quick he made that move? He went from here to there in no time. Just gone, like, look, at, look at him. He isn't even able to react to this. If he's this still man, at that. He's, he's, he's still, still over here looking at all this. He's like, what the <laughs> fuck? 
if this left hand shoots when this right hand reached, he would have caught Parson. He would have caught right him right above that. Yeah, right above his number, right in the chest. Like, and it would have stood him up right there, and he would have been able to get himself right in front of him and just lock him down. Ooh. But I mean, whoo! And the rest of the O line does does a good job protecting there. They're fine. Hey, it only takes one. It only takes one, and it can't be the cat you paid tons of money to. It can't <laughs> be him. It can't be him. If it's him, then we ain't got no solutions no more. <laughs> Cause what are we gonna do? Bench him? Right. Nah. They call it now. Okay. No. Nope. Oh, they're passing. <laughs> <laughs> and he's shitting in his pants. Oh my God. Wow. Did, did you see he made him do a 360? Wow. Now look, the rest of this offensive line. There's a like decent pocket line. everywhere else. <laughs> it's like <Wow>. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, that you'd never watch a quarterback get done like that, ever. Look at this. What have you been doing? You know this guy. Uh, look at it. See, you're reaching. You're reaching. You're completely you perpendicular. Turn all the way to the sideline. Yep. Look at everyone else's blocks. Look at this. That's good. I can, I can read waiting numbers. waiting for this. I can read your you numbers. Can, you, you can read the numbers. If I can't see your numbers at tackle within your first two kick steps, you you probably lost. <laughs> you probably lost. Look at these guys. That's good. This is a game. They're running a stunt. This is a defensive tackle who's rushing through to this to this tackle here. Look what his guard is doing, making sure that you feel him mm -hmm. pick up this guy before you before you let him go and get ready. But he's ready. His he, eyes have, are right here. Yeah, and you have time for that guy too. You got plenty of time. He's and then you have your the center. Is even your center's watching it too. He's got your back. This guy is the one who's one on one, and him. And you're even getting yeah, chip, chip help. He has a chip if he gets beat, you know, <laughs> uh, around the edge. So the right guard is the only guy who is literally by himself on a block. Everyone else has help. You've got the running back. So what do you do here when you got a chip? Make him run into the running back. <laughs> you make him run into the chip and you sit on the inside half of him. You sit on the inside half of that block so you can just sit down and snatch him up once he tries to avoid or or takes on the running Cause, back. Hey, cause because we saw we saw his ass get chipped last week. Uh Fournette oh, yeah. got all them ribs. Fournette got everything. And it makes it makes the tackle's job that much easier. You don't have to really do nothing. You just grab him. Yep. And then you hem him up. Now he can't do nothing. He's not strong enough. He's not big enough. Yeah, he's a small man. Now, will I say, what the fuck are you doing running back here? Why ain't you putting your elbow through his shoulder right there to knock him back inside? I would say that. But you know what happens? He still gets back inside. He throws off the tackle. He threw him off of him. He threw Lyle Collins off of him. This is... Dog shit technique. <laughs> Dog shit. I'm telling you right now, I thought this guy was supposed to be was supposed to be good. I thought he's supposed Not to be right good. There. I haven't watched all of the snaps of this game. I just picked a random, random drive in the first half. Whew. And look at you. Look at you. This is awful offensive line play. <laughs> Listen, By one to, guy. You try to block him out for a rebound. You're trying, yeah. Now you're trying <laughs> to box him out. Because you, he just spun you around in a circle. Oh, that's that is embarrassing. No, that's embarrassing. And look, I'm not. And look, hey, hey I, I get it. He's everybody. really, he's really, really good. He's really, really good. And sometimes but you, you gotta, know that. Sometimes you, you gotta do. Him. Sometimes you gotta do unconventional shit. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Sometimes, <laughs> you know what I mean? but you can't make sometimes. a habit of it, and it's gotta work. <laughs> it, it ain't working right here. But, but 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 also, and, and Justin, you know this, like I know this. Damn, this is bad. If this is what he's doing to you now, what was he doing to you in practice? Boy. Because if y'all because this is the guy you went against all year in practice in team periods, they, they probably couldn't -on -one practice. Pass rush, they probably could not practice. I bet he I bet he wrecked practices. I bet he wrecked the offense. He wrecked the offenses. Like, uh, hey, just take a break. All the time. Take a break. We gotta we gotta get some work done. We can't get shit yeah. done if you're in here. 
because this is bad, dude. Look, they're actually having very good. Everything is set here. Everything is set. Yeah. They have good protection everywhere else. Look at this. Look at this. That, that's beautiful. I love seeing that. They can't get this is a dude trying to trying to trying to impose his will on the tackle. The tackle's absorbing it all, and it's only when you see a, a offensive lineman's back bent like this. <laughs> yeah. Generally, he's like stopping some kind of heavy rush. Yep. And he's you his shall not, not pass. <laughs> yeah, that's the, <laughs> that's the Gandalf block. <laughs> you shall not pass. <laughs> His, this is like 99% physical strain. Like yes, everything your body has. strain to stop this guy. And look, he's running his feet in the ground. That means he's doing it. He yeah. stopped him. Yeah, he recovered right there. Damn, good job by him. Oh, but look at that hit. That this, um, I am not a good look in the first two weeks, my friend. I mean, they're going to run him. Oh, wow. Stepped under himself there. Yeah. But there's other problems on this play. Let's take a look at this technique here. I mean, he, <laughs> he's probably fucking shitting his he's shit. Like, right I, got, I, got, I, got a, I got a block. He said, motherfuckers. Shit. He <laughs> said, Packer, Packer, Packer. <laughs> Slide <laughs> oh. Bring everybody. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Now he's panicking. He's trying to get these. Sh- I mean, that's bad. Dude. That's a really that's bad, bad first step. He doesn't. That is a terrible. He doesn't get anywhere. Steps completely under he, himself. He steps completely under himself. I mean, you. I mean, look. You know what? You know when you step under yourself for for the audience. When you do this step, only thing that does is make you that turn makes you a turnstile. That's what they call tackles who do that <laughs> turnstiles. And you know what happens to tackles who turnstiles? They usually are going in and out of teams like a turnstile. <laughs> like they don't stick with teams because the last thing I need for this $200 million motherfucker to have to deal with is to have this guy, the best athlete on the field, <laughs> mm. to just be having free reign to this guy's rib cage because you don't want to kick set and trust in the techniques you were taught. Look at how close together his feet are. How are you going to block somebody? There's no way. There's no way. I mean, look, thank God that he just threw the ball quick. Because if he dropped back at all, he was going to get rammed. He was going to get literally destroyed. And he still got hit by, he said, I mean, but look, I'm not even going to, the rest of the O-line appears to be blocking well, as, as far as I can tell. Lyle Collins seems to be the solitary problem right now. <laughs> and he's the highest paid offensive lineman on that on that team. That's that's difficult. Look at these motherfuckers. Oh, I'll be pissed. Yeah, we got. I'll be mad seeing these cats I, over here. I don't even know who you people. are. Like motherfucker, <laughs> you ain't even on. You ain't, they don't sell your jersey in the store. <laughs> you not even on the scouting report. For real. <laughs> you out here dancing on my ass and shit. Okay, oh. so this oh, is this is you know, this this is on the tight end, but technically. It should you you probably gonna if you're an O line coach you're probably gonna give the sack to the tackle yeah, why because like you went way too far to help when that look when you and this is the thing on play action in this situation this is a play action so you want to sell the run a little bit here you want to sell it a little bit but also also you want to be aware of what the defense does if this guy goes away to a different gap you need to help this guy because he's not a professional blocker. <laughs> And this guy is still a professional rusher. Yep. So when he goes here, 73. And look how look how tight one, two, uh, 92 uh, first is. First off, it trips off. First off, oh, wow. Football, which means your which means the splits in your in your in your stances, your splits are too tight. Yep. Because look, your first step, you trip over your own guy. Okay, you got your footing back now. You're trying to get everything back in place. And you gotta get over there and help him now. Enough. 67, yeah, 67, you ain't even moved nowhere. So really, you got beat across this guy his face. Has this, oh, man, there's all kinds of you problems. You can't get beat there. In this you cannot get beat here. This is the worst spot. That's the your next help, spot. Your help is to your left. Yeah, your help's to the yes. left. You can't your get beat. to the left. Oh, wow. This is poor. So this is bad. This is really bad. This is actually fine, but it's too light. I'd, You're giving up too that, much ground. Yeah. You have, and this you have help coming. Just, Be firm. 
Yeah, you have to be firm. You have to be firm. You cannot give up penetration on play actions. They can't even really run their fake through, look, nobody believes this shit. Nobody <laughs> believes it. Nobody here believes that this is a fucking run. Yeah, and they got Joe Joe Dixon back or Joe uh, yeah, Mixon, uh, yeah, Mixon yeah. back there. Yeah, he's pretty fucking good. They got Joe player. Mixon back there. If they don't believe he's running the ball when he gets a look like this, then it means you're not doing your job. Now, with that being said, this is this is bad. This is very bad because, and he knows it. He has to be <laughs> over here because this guy right here, he ain't ready. He is not ready. Look at him. He's not ready for this. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. He did all he could. I, I, I don't expect. I don't expect any more from a tight end. I don't expect nothing more from him. I that's good for what. See, I, oh, I would have given him a play. Oh God! Oh jeez, what the fuck was that? Yo, look at this cat. Look at his progression here. Look what he does. Fakes. Hmm. He looks. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! He dodged three people. Wow. Before he decided to run. Let's take a look. I see. Okay, so what are you? Oh, did they fake the understand. game over there? Hold up. This is the tackle right here, correct? Yeah, I think. What are you doing going here? Oh, they had a couple of those. You should be, you should be setting vertically with your eyes here and your arms, your left arm right here for presence in case they're running a stunt. Now, it appears he's running inside of this. So you don't even need to pay attention to him no more. You need to be focused on the best athlete on the field. Uh, they have one later in the game. It was a empty set. And I think the Cowboys had like a snap front. So they had the two linebackers up in the A-gap or whatever. And yeah. they, oh, they fucking they the slid. No, no, no. They slid to the left away from Micah Parsons. Oh, he had a okay. Free... So we'll give him a sack. Yeah. Like, Okay. Yes, somebody has to be on block, but it can't be him. Yeah. Like, if anything, yeah, we're going to slide to him and let the other end be free. It's just wow. bad, bad awareness all around by, by this Bengals whole line. Very bad awareness. Not not very good at all. I mean, and look, again, I don't know what the O-line coach is coaching them to do, but this guy has to be, have a star over his name in the game plan. <laughs> Like, dangerous threat. Like, most talented on defense. Like, can disrupt games severely. And that's Must when we, that's when we try to block him. Folk, you know what I mean? <laughs> if you don't block and, him, he's going to fucking have a field day. It, exactly. So, look, this is, like, he doesn't even know. Or maybe this is, maybe they had a turn protection on here. But Could it doesn't be. make sense. I don't think they, but I don't, I don't think you have turn protection on with, yeah, it doesn't make sense to do turn protection if you are, let's see, what do they got here? They have just a regular four. This is what? Two D tackles, two DNs. They're standing up, but they're still DNs. You're in a nickel. You got a DB here, linebacker here. Van Der Esch is no threat. No threat. Yeah. <laughs> He's no threat in the in the pass in pass rush. Zero. Zero. And I mean, look, you have a wide three technique. That's what this is. Why are you looking at him? You should be looking at him. He is like just gonna be there to be a presence so that you can get a hold of him and then he's gonna leave. He's not blocking him. <laughs> and he's looking at you like, yo, you know this your guy, right? I, I hey, don't see you him. know this I is don't your... see him. Maybe if I don't look, I don't hey. want to block him. <laughs> he's like, hey, you know this is your guy, right? You hey, you're blocking him, right? I, oh, man, I used to hate that. Like, if a young cat would come in the game for some reason and they like don't know what to do, they say, like, hey, you, you got him, right? Like, no, motherfucker. <laughs> I need the illusion. Fuck. Ah. Fuck. They're like, hey, man, shut your ass up. You don't know what to do this. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. Point. You bought the guy in front of you. Let me handle my business. If nothing else, if you do nothing else, if you do nothing else as an offensive lineman, you block the defensive lineman. <laughs> That's it. That's yeah, it. If you don't know what the fuck to do on this play, if there's a defensive lineman shaded on you at all, just block him. Just block them, and we'll and it'll probably not be so bad for you. But <laughs> this shit right this. here, you ain't. He is. You don't even know if he knows that Parsons is there, because he's not even looking. Look at it. Look, he's not even looking. This is tough. When the ball gets snapped, he don't even look. 
He doesn't know that he's supposed to block him. He doesn't know that he's supposed to block this guy. This isn't turn protection. It's not. Because if it was, then this guard would be here with the tackle to block 92, leaving the center to block this guy. Yeah. It's not turn. It's a play action, Ooh. which on the backside of play action is man. Backside of play action is man. You know what? Even if it was turn, this week we ain't doing that shit. Yeah, hey, and Joe Burrow would have told you himself, nah, nah, no turn. Jet. <laughs> Jet. I don't give a fuck if he's a three technique. Right guard, you're on your own. I need both of y'all walking 11. On 11. But look, I There's just no, said, I refuse even, to believe that this is the even game if this is even if this is play action, even if this is play action, this will be the front side of the play action. This will be the front side. Even if it was the back side, you would still be covering up the defensive end with the tight end on a on the zone. Mm. But this is backside, and even and especially with a team like the Cowboys, which is a hybrid three four four three. This right here, even if it was a 3-4, we would still fan out. I would fan out to that backer who would be him. Or in a, in a true 3-4, it would be uh, – this would be your DN. So you'd be fanning past him to pick up Parsons still, an outside linebacker, with your guard like, taking this guy still. Yeah, There's no blocking scenario this where – Like he's just a regular guy. Sometimes, like, like in turn or some play action passes, yes, you come down on that three. If that's a regular human being out there on the tight end, perfectly cool with that. If it was a turn protection, yes, you might. Well, this isn't, if it was like turn you said. two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if it was turn two protection, which would send the whole line to the left, they're they're going to tell you their coach is going to tell you, hey, hey, you're just you're going to provide presence here, but you're also going to provide presence for this ultimate athlete yeah. right yeah. here. The instant you're not going to go to, you're not going to let a gap create here. <laughs> yes, the instant. 72 is under control. I'm fine at 11. You need to go help the tight end. And you should know this guard. The end, he's only going to give you an instant of help, and he's going to go find the best player yeah. on their defense. Yeah. He's only helping if you, get we're beat. Do. if you get beat immediately, he's going to help you. That's it. And then we're going to give you a minus, and we're going to give him a minus because that's not what we want to happen. We want him to not have to help you a lot so he can help this guy a lot. So either way, there's no scenario that any coach – and any kind of game plan is going to tell you, don't block 11. Nobody's going to tell you that. Mm. Nobody. 